Yo, what's up guys? We're back. We got some more food review. The all new Lay's uh, summer flavors, I believe. So we got Wavy Cuban Sandwich. Regular Lay's BLT Sandwich. And the third one, which I have not been able to find. I wanted to hold off until I found it, uh, but I can't. The one I'm most excited to try that I think I'll actually love is Baked Lay's Buffalo Chicken Sandwich. So if you guys got that in your area, let me know. Hook your boy up. Uh, hopefully I'll find it. Maybe even before this is posted, but it's been a, uh, over a week now. And uh, these seem to be everywhere in my area. And I can't find the other one. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and try these two in hopes that we uh, end up finding the other one, which... Again, I feel like it would become one of my favorites. Bold, savvy, crunchy. So, Cuban sandwich, limited time flavor. I don't really even know. Story. Miami inspired, hot or cold, nice and toasty, pickle, crunchy, chips, ham. It doesn't really say what this is. You're just supposed to know what a Cuban sandwich is. Um... Tell me what a Cuban sandwich is down below. This is like ham and pastrami or something. Things I don't eat. Holy mustard. Pickle. Is that, I don't know if it, maybe it was pickle. Mustardy, pickledy, vinegary, you know what I mean? That's strong, but not like a, not like mustard flavored chips or vinegar chips, but like, that's weird. But like that scent and flavor together, it felt like a sandwich, like a McAllister's deli sandwich with a pickle or something. That's what it was, a pickle. I wish it told me what this, I mean, like, hmm, he's biting my lip. I'm gonna buy a garlic powder, cheddar cheese, Swiss cheese, brown sugar, paprika, and ingredients don't help. It's not bad. I don't know what it is. It's not terrible. It's not great. It's not bad. It's meaty, pickly, cheesy sandwich. It's okay. I would eat these. You hand me these at a party, hanging out by the pool. They're all. It's a summer chip. Not bad. Not bad. But now we got Lay's BLT. Smoky, zesty, crispy. The most delicious bacon. Sweet, salty, toasty. Now, I do know what a BLT is. And normally, I only like the beef. I would never eat this sandwich. Because I'm a weird picky eater. But I'll eat bacon sandwiches all day. Um, tomato flavor, I'm fine with. So, bacon and tomato is probably fine. Lettuce, I don't know why you would even bother with that. But, just because it's a fun idea for a thing. But, we're going to give it a shot. Huh. I didn't really get that taste. Come on.
I'm not getting any of those flavors. Again, they're not bad. I would never guess BLT. I'm trying to find it. Like, I know what it is. I'm getting a little bit of the smokiness from the bacon. I right, even just smoky on the package. Smoky, zesty, crispy. I'm getting two of those. I'm getting the smoky and the crispy. I guess I can. I guess it's bacon flavor, but it's like very mild. And if, I wouldn't have guessed that if I didn't know what I was looking for. You know what I mean? I could be stretching. Well, I get the smokiness. And it's almost like the bacon flavor of bacon's past. That makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ate a bacon sandwich earlier, and you still got to taste it in your mouth. That's what I'm getting. And like I said, that could be just a big stretch on my part. It's not a bad chip. It tastes fine. I'm trying to picture it, you know. Like, if I close my eyes and I think about it, I can taste the bread. Like the crust of the bread with a little bit of the white. If I try real hard, it almost tastes like you gave me a sandwich with tomato on it and I don't like tomatoes or I took tomato off but there's that little can't love. But again, I'm stretching here. There's not a lot of flavor. It's not bad. It's a good chip. I just don't know if it tastes like it's what it's supposed to. And if it does, it's not very much. But it's good. Look at that. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna try one more of these just going back to the uh, Cuban. Two more. Man. There's that pickle again. But it's still not bad. They're both pretty good. And I did not expect that. Again, I really want to try the third one. If you guys find it, send it to me. Please, please, please. Hit me up. I'll pay you for the shipping or whatever. Um, one, so I can do the review. And two, because I'm fat. And buffalo chicken is like my favorite thing in the world. So, the buffalo chicken baked lays is like right on my alley. I want them for my, So, maybe you don't sell them. I'll be sad if they're good. All right. We gotta give them a score. Man. Um, it's still hard ever since dude said seven or higher, I'll try it. Cause I want people to try these. Do they deserve a seven or higher? I don't know.
I'm going to go 6.6 .6 on the Cuban sandwich and a 6.7 on the BLT. It rounds it out a little bit. I prefer this. This is something I had no intentions of liking whatsoever. The pickles overwhelming at first, but there's so much more flavor after that, and it's not bad. So I had to give it a higher score than you would expect that I'd expect that. And this has a good taste, just not enough of it. So if they put the amount of flavor on this as they did on this, this would skyrocket. But either way, still a pretty good bag of chips. Hopefully we'll get the third one out there. Let me know if you guys have tried them. Uh, I really like trying different new flavors of chips. I feel like it's been a while since we've had the Lay's. I used to do it like a couple times a year. So new summer flavors. Cuban and BLT. That's my score. That's my review. Boom, 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 boom. Thanks, guys.